Welcome back to another awesome Illustrator CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create blends using the blend tool, which is on the tools panel. And then we're also going to start getting into the options that you can use to modify your blends. It's um pretty helpful to know the options because you can start modifying and no, you can you know what you can do with your object, and once you know what you can do, you can think of more creative ways to use it. All right, so let's start out by using the blend tool, and it's really easy to do. The blend tool is over here under the eyedropper tool. So you'll get this like little square with a bunch of with like a trail coming off of it as your cursor icon. All you need to do is click on your first fill color of your object. And then go ahead and click on the second one, and it'll blend them right together. Now, if you want to bring these or bring another one in, all you got to do is just click on the next one, and it'll bring it in. And then you can close it off together if you bring it them all. If you uh, click on the very last one. So as you can see, the blend tool created a path in in between all these and connected them by a path and that's how it's uh, making the tool so I'll go back and I'll just make it so that we've got three of these together now the now I can get into the options there wasn't a whole lot of there's not a whole lot other than just blending two objects together like that to do with the blend tool so we can get into start getting into some options. So the first thing we want to get into is what's called the blend options. So select your blend, go to object, and we go to blend, and go to blend options. Now if you're using a bunch of circles, it's not going to work too well, what I'm going to show you. So if you want to follow along, make sure you have something like a, um, like a, what are these, a polygon or like a square or a triangle or something like that. You can see the movement. So the first thing we've got is our spacing. Smooth color is just going to create a smooth uh, blend. And that's the default that always happens. Click on your preview button to see what, we, uh, what we're changing. The next one is specified steps. And you can put in the number of steps here. If I put in something like 10, and then click here, you can see that you're making like kind of like a steps thing. And this would be cool if you're making something like a caterpillar or something like that. And there's also other things. And if this goes up to a thousand. So the higher up you go, the more smooth it's going to be. But as you start going higher, you'll you might notice that the edges get a little bit jaggedy, and that's not usually what you want. So keep it somewhere where it's like smooth and crisp on the edges. The next one is specified distance, and this is going to enter the distance between the uh, objects in the blend. So if I put it down to maybe like one pixel, we can check out what's going on. It's the, it's the closest together, and it's going to be the smoothest. But once again, you're going to get these jaggedy edges. If I bring it up to something high, like a thousand... You can see that it's barely got anything. You can see the diff two different colors that are in between it. So you want to keep it as something like around five to get a nice smooth without like jaggedy edges. The other thing that I want to show you, I'm going to go back to smooth color, is the orientation. So the left one is align to page, and that's just what you had before. And then the other one is called align to path, and it's going to align it to these path lines. And if you watch this uh, polygon up here, if I click on this, the polygon's going to switch and it's going to align to the path. So depending on which one you want to use, go ahead and try the different things, different options. Now there's even more options. If you go to the blend tool here, we've we've got different options. Let me go back to the blend tool. We've got different options here. We've got our opacity, we can turn that down if we need to. And then we've got recolor artwork. And in this, you can change the different kind of um, coloration that you're getting here. You can change the colors. You can add a new row of colors in there. 
and you can pick these. Well, actually, that one didn't work too well, but you can go ahead and change these if you want. You can change the different tints and everything like that. You've got custom or uh, presets, I mean. And you can see what that did. Made it all into one color. But I'm just going to hit cancel. You can go ahead and mess around with that. And when you mess around with things, sometimes you learn a little bit better than me trying to explain to you what, what they uh, do sometimes. And I think that's one of the things that will be better off. You've got here, which is a line to selection or a line to artboard, which uh, we went to before. And these are just uh, transformation values here and scale values. There's more options. If we go to object, and then we let's make sure our object is select or our blend is selected. Go to object, and then come down here to blend. We've got some more things. We've got our blend options that we had before. The other one is reverse spine, and if I click that, it's going to switch these. Blend reverse spine will switch it back, and the other one will be reverse front to back. And if I click that, you can see that the colors have been changed and that they blend in a reverse way. The last thing that I'd like to show you is using the direct selection tool. So if we pick the direct selection tool here and we can start modifying things, I want to modify this anchor point here. So I can move it along and I can move the shape of my path. can also move out points of my path to get a different kind of blending. So that's how you can modify different things in your blends. You don't have to use stick with these shapes. You can make any kind of shapes that you really want and uh, start blending them together. So that's all I'm going to talk to you about with uh, blending. You should be pretty good with it uh, within this tutorial and the tutorial before that. And you should be kind of like a little bit... Um, a little bit expert on blending now. So just mess around with it, get used to it, see uh, different techniques and everything, and see what you like. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorials, guys. Have a good, have a good day.